Hello, what's up YouTube? This is Michelle again with another video. And I just want to talk about a subject that my personal two cents, of course, it doesn't mean that I'm right and it doesn't mean that I'm wrong. It's just my personal opinion uh, about things like climate change, global warming, pole shift, um, natural disaster. Um, before I get started, I just want to say that I heard that Canada sent a bunch, sends a bunch of trash, let me see, recycled stuff over to the Philippines and to be sorted and then recycled. And however, that they had returned it to Canada and it had been rotting for at least five years. Now... Let's talk about our plastics and our trash that we do. Every time we go to the store, what we, we get a bunch of trash, well, food. And inside, you know, the packaging, it's all trash, okay? And then it's plastic or it's some kind of jar or something. Well, however, I, I try to reuse all of my jars. If it's got a lid... And it's glass, and sometimes I might even reuse certain plastic containers to like store food or something. So that's my way of trying to preserve putting so much trash in the trash bin. But I know that we do also have a recycling uh, section, but I have not heard or seen any real talk on the news about it or if it's really necessary. I think the recycling bins are put there just to motivate people to believe in the saving the planet thing because I think it all goes in the same place in my city, okay? I'm just going to be honest. I don't really think that it's really recycled, but I might be wrong about that, but, you know, I hear a global, a global outcry about global warming and how the motive motive of this is for everyone worldwide to pay a tax on this, okay? Now, I would be more willing to want to do that if I saw that we were making more effort to do simple things within our neighborhoods in our houses when it comes to accumulating trash okay but basically they they want us to you know um change the way we have our car you know what kind of cars we have they want us to go electric and all that stuff well i don't think it's right for them to tax us on the carbon footprint, I guess you would say, because um, I don't think it's going to make a difference. Okay, I don't think it's going to make a difference because if you go in history, we've always had changes in our climate. I mean, climate change, I mean, you can look at statistics of when, you know, there were, there was overheating in certain areas, high temperatures or um, above freezing at weird times a year. You know, it's always happened throughout history that there's going to be some kind of weird thing go on. You know, so I, I don't know. I do believe that we as people are per, we are messing up our planet, of course, with just our trash. Okay, which can be fixed, resolved at home. And we're not doing that. So, I mean, that's my personal input on that. I really don't believe that, um, I'm not going to deny that we could be experiencing some difference in temperatures or we could be having some kind of a weird global warming thing happen. But I'm not going to sit up here and say that it's all our fault either because I don't think it is. I think it's something natural, okay? So... The people that come up with these ideals are the same people that want to either take us back to the Stone Age or do Agenda 21 and then um, 
maybe prevent so many people from being born, kind of do the China thing where you can't have so many kids or, you know, uh, let's do full-term abortion, you know, let, let's, let you know, do things like that. So China is not really doing their part either when it comes to global warming. I mean, <laughs> their country's full of factories and they are the ones making all of our trash, believe it or not. All of our packagings and everything is shipped in from Asia. So it's partly our industrial fault, you know. It's just like, say, for instance, the tobacco companies are making a lot of money off of giving people cigarettes, you know, selling people cigarettes. And it's been a number one health issue. Now, why are they going to keep giving us something that's going to kill us quick? Well, it's because maybe they want us to die off quick. I don't know. So that's a big question there. I've always had a problem with uh, putting down the cigarettes, you know, especially life can get very stressful and um, not so good for me, you know, wanting to smoke a cigarette to calm down or because I'm bored or it's because it's just a habit. But um, I will be quitting here pretty soon, but there's no guarantees that I will put them down completely because usually when I put them down I end up going back to them every time so like I said I think that these global agencies or global groups or organizations whether it's NASA whether it's the global warming people or I don't even know the names of them I'm so uneducated on all this um they get together and they decide, hey, let's make some money. <laughs> so they're like, yeah, let's make some money. What are we going to do? Oh, yeah, we're going to say this, okay? And then we're going to get filthy ass rich. And we might do a little something to make it look like we're doing something, but not really not. Just like the United Nations, you know, they, they're, they're just as bad. They get together and it's like, let's go save Haiti. And, you know, they go over there and they give them a couple of cookies and some tents, and then they leave them there. And after Hillary Clinton got together so many donations from all the movie stars and rock stars and R&B singers and rich American people and, you know, what they do with that money, mm, they changed the name and they switched it over to a different type of uh, funding and they forgot all about Haiti, of course. So... Example, guys, NASA is another example. I ain't never seen no real footage of no outer space stuff. It's all fake. It's like Avatar, computer made like movie or cartoon shit that they be showing us. You know when you see real stuff. I mean, I'm sorry, but that's the truth. If you don't believe me, then go on there and try to look for some real footage. I mean, I, you rarely ever may find some real stuff. I mean, they talk about Mars, they talk about the moon, they talk about this and that, but they're always talking about sending some satellite or getting something or they're going to, you know, discover something, but we're not getting any like real pictures of stuff out there, you know, and I'm just not understanding that. And I feel like maybe they are also, um, trying to, um, trick us into giving them a lot of money. And, um, of course, you know, at the, I think at the end of the world, when it happens, uh, like the apocalypse, the scientists and, uh, then like NASA people and stuff and all these government, uh, agents, global, uh, organization leaders, they're going to get together and find a place to, you know, like it is in the movies, like on the TV shows where they go outer space and the rest of the world just burns, you know, because basically we're paying to let them survive. So <laughs> that's just the crap. I've been watching too much moot of this show's TV shows. You know, I watched this one show called 100, the 100. Yeah. And it, I like to watch shows on Netflix and everything, but I'm getting, you know, I'm getting a little tired of them intervening on my psychological um, space when it comes to watching 
a man and a woman. I mean, okay, I don't mind so much seeing a man and a woman getting it on. But it's just like, I, I don't want to see a woman and a woman get it on and a man and a man get it on. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm not saying that I, you know, I wouldn't want to bash on those people or anything, but I really feel like um, the Hollywood people have really um, interfered with my psychological ability to be able to watch a movie without being fearful of seeing something that I don't want to see. I mean, I don't want to see it. And I don't want my kids to see it either. There's nothing wrong with that. I can't be, a th why would I be attacked for saying that? But it's the truth. I don't want to see it. And I don't want my kids to see it either. I don't want that. I don't want them to see it. I just don't. So is there something wrong? No, there's not. You guys, please, like, some of you guys would probably curse me out or call me a hater or whatever, but that's the truth. So, I mean... Something needs to happen with our movies so I can, like, people, normal, normal, straight people like me can, like, watch it and actually enjoy it. Now, I don't mind, you know, they need to change it up a little bit in the storyline where, you know, like, you know that they are and you, you're aware that they may be, you know, somewhat, but you don't get to see the, like, lips on lips and them take their clothes off together and stuff, so... I'm sorry, guys. I just, I, that is that is totally off subject. We were talking about uh, global warming, but somehow or not there, I got into that subject. I'm so sorry. But, you know, share your thoughts on that, guys. I mean, am I wrong for saying that I don't want to see um, those things? Okay, I don't. So, um, like I said, share, like, and subscribe. And I, I just feel like some of these things that they are coming up with is just something that's out to really get our money and is really not going to make a difference. If anything, they're saving up to make themselves to be safe, you know, somewhere while the rest of us, like I said, share, like, and subscribe, guys. Have a good night.